Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to configure blocking alerts in real time. Okay, so here I am having one stored procedure. This stored process will create temp tables and with that uh, gather and it is going to pull the date block information into the respective temp tables and it is going to send an information. Okay, so when I give that stored procedure, what are the changes that you need to make from your end? Okay, when I click here, here you can mention your company name and if you have any instructions here you want to mention see here you can make if for example if any select command is there you can we can wait for 15 minutes and if if 15 minutes more than that i mean to say like uh, you can drop an email to the application team uh, uh, upon confirmation we can take respect to action on blockings Okay, this if you have any instructions, you can place that. Okay, the one first, uh, the second thing is here. How long uh, for how much threshold we have to get an email? In for to show this practical, I have selected for thirty seconds. If blocking occurs, is still happening for more than thirty seconds. So then the alert will trigger so the that uh, that alert will trigger and create and that uh, blocking information it is going to put that information into the respect and it will going to send that email okay so if you want to configure for 15 minutes you can convert that 15 minutes into seconds and you can mention here so that all changes you need to make from your end and compulsory you need to have one database email outlook profile okay sorry db email outlook profile my outlook profile name is outlook only okay so i am going to create one stole procedure it is done okay it is already there so let's go and drop in the master database uh, go on so yeah it got executed successfully now i'm going to create a table and i'm start uh, opening the transactions so i'm with new query and start it so i have created a blocking session here so let's wait for 30 seconds so uh, once we need to get that email and everything so you need to configure this uh, email uh, this thing in the job okay so here you need to clock clogging uh, write the blocking information and everything put this code in the uh, okay in the master you can put like this okay for uh, time being what i am going to do is i am pasting here and i am executing from the query into itself okay uh, here See here you need to mention the group DL since it is my home laptop. So I have mentioned individual email IDs. Okay, so it has been waiting for 30 50 seconds means it is already crossed the threshold value. So click execute. See it one output got generated. Now go to your uh, Gmail ID and click refresh. Got uh, it got generated. See that my this is instance name is Lenovo. If blogging is more than 15 minutes, it is okay. You can drop that email, and we can drop it. See here, uh, wait time. It is been waiting for 57 seconds. Of uh, the blocking ID is 56. The data it blocking occurs on database master. This is the blocking user blocking location. This is the blocking location. Okay, so this transaction is yearly blocked scale this is select command was getting getting blocked okay see uh, where it got executing from uh, management studio see this company uh, we have very good information in our hands so by seeing that we can conclude uh, one we can come to one conclusion okay so which query we need to do and what could be the issue like that so this is how you can uh, i mean i mean to say like uh, work with the real bloggings alerts in the real time 
so i i hope uh, you are going to uh, like this video and please join in our whatsapp group to get the script thank you bye